Hello, I'm Brandon Judson of Textron Aviation Team Structures. Occasionally, customer service is asked by customers and service facilities what our recommendations are regarding returning to service aircraft that have been submerged or partially submerged in fresh or saltwater environments. Some typical items to consider before proceeding are as follows. The location of the incident and environment surrounding the aircraft for safety concerns. What special tools and equipment will be necessary for recovery? Is the aircraft in salt or fresh water? How long has the aircraft been submerged? How long has the aircraft been above water before cleanup was or will be started? Some things to consider with regards to the airframe itself. You will want to slowly remove the aircraft from the water. This will allow the airframe to drain as the airframe rises above the water surface. Support the wings and fuselage in multiple locations to prevent structural damage from the weight of the water throughout the airframe. Reference Chapter 7, Emergency Lifting and Maintenance Practices in the Applicable Maintenance Manual for details. Once the aircraft has been recovered, depending on the condition of the landing gear, the aircraft structure may need to be shored and supported. Reference Chapter 7 in the Applicable Maintenance Manual for details. Next, conduct a symmetry check to understand the general condition of the airframe. Centerline and attach point drawings may also be available from customer service to help determine straightness of the airframe. Reference Chapter 51 in the Applicable Maintenance Manual for details. Remove all interior components to expose the aircraft structure. Remove the flight controls, wings, rudder, elevators, horizontal, and vertical stabilizers to facilitate better cleaning of individual structural subassemblies. Consult the aircraft maintenance and service manual for instructions on disassembly of the airframe. You will then want to remove all subcomponents, including but not limited to actuators, bell cranks, and push rods. Thoroughly rinse all components and airframe inside and out with fresh water. Dry all components and airframe. Apply corrosion inhibitive products. Consult the applicable aircraft maintenance service manuals for approved products. Replace all bearings, including but not limited to roller, needle, and bushing type bearings. Check for structural damage. If available, follow overspeed and overweight landing inspections for reference. If damage or corrosion is found, please document the damage and report it to team structures using the structural damage report form. Regarding the power plants, avionics, motors, instruments, landing gear, etc. Overhaul or replace all components. Consult component maintenance manuals and or vendor publications for details. If the aircraft is equipped with rubber fuel tank bladders, they will need to be replaced as well. With regard to the aircraft systems, flush the fuel, hydraulic, and pneumatic systems per instructions in maintenance and service manual. Overhaul replace all electrical components. Replace all wire bundle assemblies and connectors. Consult vendor publications for instruction on disposition of electrical motors. Clean and lubricate all flight control actuators, linkages, and pulleys. Replace all primary and secondary flight control cables and bearings. Before the aircraft is returned to service, thoroughly check all systems and equipment for proper operation per aircraft and component maintenance manuals. Ensure all removed items have been reinstalled or replaced as required prior to the test flight. Please note, Textron Aviation has not developed a continued airworthiness program for any aircraft that has been submerged in any kind of water, salt or fresh. However, the guidelines provided in this video are valid for aircraft that have been recovered and cleaned up within 48 hours of initial immersion in salt or fresh water. Beyond 48 hours, Textron Aviation's recommended inspection schedule may not be adequate to ensure continued airworthiness. As always, reference your aircraft maintenance manual and service information for your specific aircraft for details and procedures. I hope you find this information helpful. For additional questions and or support, please contact Team Structures at 316-517-6061. Thank you for your time.